Uh, parents we're talking with Wendy say that they don't like the uncertainty of not knowing if their kids will be in classrooms tomorrow. They aren't really thrilled with the idea of having to make alternative plans for their kids. But overall, the parents we've talked to are sympathetic with the position of the teachers. Take a look. These are the uh, buildings where the meetings will be taking place tonight. It's a bargaining session between the Elwood Area School District and the Education Association representing the teachers. Now, the union had actually given notice last Thursday that they would uh, be striking. Tomorrow, if there's no new contract, that led to a marathon session that went from Thursday night into early Friday morning, 5 a.m. Uh, they are going to be picking up with those negotiations here at 6 tonight. Again, the parents that we were speaking with say that uh, they're bracing for the possibility of having to have their kids somewhere other than in school. I just won't be able to send my child to school. What's not, it going to do to your day? It's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm hoping that they don't go on strike so we don't have to start paying for daycare and there's no warning. Well, I think teachers deserve to get a fair wage. You know, I mean, they do a lot for our kids and they make our kids, you know, turn out to be who they are as adults. The school district will use its all call system to notify parents automatically through phone calls what's going to happen uh, with school tomorrow. Now, if there is a teacher strike, they do want you to know that there will still be transportation for non public school and uh, special education students going to other districts and also those headed to the Lawrence County Career and Tech Center. Reporting live in Elwood City, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.